is a completely new way to curl hair that doesn't use extreme heat. The Dyson Air. Hi, how are you? You look stunting, beautiful, gorgeous. I'm here today to review the Air Wrap by Dyson. This is not sponsored. Unlike everybody else's videos about this, mine is not sponsored. I'm very excited. I love Dyson and I love their blow dryer. So I'm hoping I love this just as much as the blow dryer. So why don't I show you guys the actual product, what it looks like, what it comes with. Let's do this. Let me grab it. It's on the floor. Hold on. So it's like 50 pounds. It's like, looks like an Hermes bag. Uh, we love that. So it says Dyson on the top. It's very heavy duty. Ooh, this is some nice material. I, it's like leather. Might not be real leather, but like, it's cute. It feels good. So it opens like this. Has a little magnet right here. Love that luxury. Ooh. So you open it. Little Dyson thing again. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? And then it comes with a little tutorial thingy on the top. Nobody cares. And then, ladies and gentlies, we have. Everything here in the box. We have brushes. We have three different curling iron sizes. We have a rough dryer and we have a round brush. And this is what the wand looks like. It also looks like something you might have in your bedroom. So let me take her out. Let me give you a little tour of the device. Here she is in all her glory. Ooh. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say it's not that heavy. It's quite light, actually. Very sleek, love the design. It's a nice size for a good grip. A few buttons here. Hopefully you can see these. We have cold, hot, and hotter. We have all the different speed settings. There's three speed settings. And then there's off and on. We love an off and on switch. And before we keep going, let me just tell you how much this retails for. So I'm reading off the website right now. It is for the one, for the model that I have, which is the Styler Complete Nickel slash Fuchsia, it is $549.99. Then they have a model that doesn't have both of these brushes in it. They just have one and two of these curling iron pieces and that is $49.99, the link will be below by the way if you wanna like read about this. Basically, some of the kits have less pieces than others and they're selling them for $50 less than the other kit. Kinda of pointless to me if I'm being honest. Uh, I'd rather them just sell one kit for $5.50 instead of taking $50 off the price and getting rid of one single brush head like this. Like that just seems like pointless. Why don't you all just pay the extra $50? But that's also marketing, you know, that's how they get you to buy more stuff is by adding one more item and then marking up $50 because that's a huge profit for them overall. So I am not sponsored, like I said. So honey, you're gonna get all the tea and my real, real first reactions to this product. I have watched a few different people review it and I'm not gonna lie, their reviews seem a little biased, which I understand. It's sponsored. You can't always be like, I hate your product when you're being paid to, to promote it. You know, but lucky for you, I'm not being paid and not lucky for me. So I can't wait to review this product. Let me grow out my hair real quick and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Ooh, honestly, this is such a fucking look today. Ah! Wait, I'm obsessed. Sorry. Okay, on to the, what I came here for. <laughs> Let me start reviewing this. Okay, so I have my hair damp right now. And by the way, you guys, this is full Remy hair. Very, very nice hair and it is full lace. So you are gonna get a pretty realistic idea as if this was my real hair on my actual head. Why don't we just start with the other attachments first? Okay, well this one, you guys, we all know this works, okay? It's like the same thing as the, the basically the blow dryer. It's just like a little wider. So it sounds pretty much the same as the blow dryer. It's same. It's not very loud. It's good. This is kind of cute, honestly. I like the way it feels in my hand. Like, it's a nice, like, even. It's quite hot. 
Yeah, so it's basically the same thing as the blow dryer. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is all exactly the same. It's just a different head on it. Uh, but I do like the way this distributes the air. It's a very flat surface, so you're getting a lot of... So the air is touching a lot of surface area on your hair, which is going to make it blow dry faster. So this is just kind of like a rough dry situation. I like it. I'm going to save the best for last, by the way. We're going to do the curling iron part last. So I'm going to really quickly try out all these other things first, just to see how they are. So we have this brush attachment. So this is like if you want to just do a quick blowout or maybe like a, a cute little like flippy doodad on the ends of your hair, anything like that, this will probably be great for you. Also, this is good for just smoothing out frizzy hair. All righty, let's try this. A little piece up here. Okay, honestly, <laughs> oh my God, wait. Okay, wow. <laughs> so that came out really, really nice and was really easy to use. This sounds like a sponsored video and I thought I wasn't gonna like it that much, TBH, but it's really smooth and like, that was easy. Okay, so I love that. The only thing is, I'm gonna say is, I mean, this isn't state of the art. I mean, there's a million products that do this exact same thing. But I would say this works and I really do like it. So the Dyson Airwrap keeps its temperature below 302 degrees Fahrenheit, which protects your hair from extreme heat damage and maintains shine. So it's definitely not gonna do a ton of heat damage to your hair and that is definitely the plus side to having one of these is that you are going from wet to dry. It's also drying it and curling it at the same time, which is not gonna be as much heat damage as if you were to use a very, very hot blow dryer and then curl your hair with it. As we keep moving along through this review, I will say that this hair is not the most difficult hair to work with. I have watched a few reviews of women with natural hair and from what I could see, it is not really the right tool for them. Uh, I do think that you need high heat and high, high tension when you're blowing out natural hair, curly hair, frizzy hair, whatever hair you have. Um, but I think that if your hair is slightly frizzy, a little bit of texture, I think that this product is probably perfect for you. So let's move through and let's try this one. Um, this one just has caps and the bristles here. So it says this one is smoother, straighter styling, and this one is for smooth blow dry finish. I literally have no idea what the difference is. <laughs> I don't know, honestly, man, it just seems like another random tool thrown in the box. I don't see what the difference is. These bristles are a little bit less hard than this one, um, but I don't think you're gonna see any bit of a difference using either of these. I guess I'll try it for you guys. I don't know what the point is but I'll show you what it does and I am using this on the highest heat setting I mean yeah it just did the same thing the other brush did I and mean, when you're using a brush that's literally almost nearly the same Sweetie, there's not gonna be any difference. Let's try now the round brush. I'm excited about this one just because, I don't know, it looks like fun. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually put a round brush curling my hair with this product. Huh, let's see. Super cute, and honestly, I feel like this one was the easiest to get really close to your scalp with. And it gave you a nice, like, bounce in your hair. I mean, that's what a round brush is supposed to do, and it makes sense, but I think it's great. Honestly, I think this is awesome. It does get really hot, though, so be careful with your forehead, because it, it burned me a little bit, but that's probably just me getting too close to my face with it. And now I'm gonna stop boring you on to what you all came here for, which is 
the curling irons. Let's try this little baby one out first. And so the airflow goes this way. It has arrows on it to show you which way the airflow goes. So if the airflow goes this way, you're gonna try and make the curl go backwards away from your face. So whichever way the arrow goes, you want it to go back away from your face. So all you do with this is bring it up to your hair close and it actually just takes the hair and wraps it around for you. You don't do anything. You just bring it up to it and you'll see it'll just wrap it around. It's kind of very cool. All right, so let's try out this sickening piece of technology and let's see if it works. I'm so excited. <sighs> Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? This is so weird. This is so weird. I don't know what I'm doing. This is so weird. Okay. Oh. 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 This is very weird. We just leave it on there until it... it it dries. You can actually feel it. It's not that hot. Definitely take me a minute. This is what it looks like. I think it's still wet. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I mean, it's definitely some kind of curl. <laughs> so far, what I'm seeing is that it's, it's a mom curl for sure. I mean, you can't even like brush it out to make it into like a wave. It's kind of just like a curly, curly curl, um, which I know for people my age, we're not really into that. However, I don't know how many people my age are really buying a $550 curling iron set. So I'm thinking that Dyson is more marketing towards a mature audience. However, I don't know because they did sponsor a lot of people my age for this curling iron release. Um, so, I mean, apparently their market is younger. I don't know, whatever. But I don't think any of us are looking for a curly, curly curl. I am very into the new technology and I'm, I love seeing the innovation within the hair world and I think it's very, very cool. But I just have to say, I don't know how good this is gonna be for the average person. I'm just not sure how many people really want these curls in their hair. We're gonna do another one to show you guys more. Let's do a longer, bigger piece this time. I'm gonna wet it again, and then we'll do a piece dry, and we'll see how good that works. All right, we're gonna take the bigger size barrel now, and we'll see if that gives us a little bit more of a wave this time. Let's do it. Now the arrows are going this way, so it's gonna make your curl go away from your face because the air is, you get it, all right. <laughs> Oh no, wait. Oh no, this is gonna go towards your face. This is a little confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Come on. All right, come on, attach onto here. It's a little bit difficult to get it attached for people who have, you know, thicker hair, but it's fine. It's not that hard. <laughs> Wow, it's so curly. I mean, yeah. Listen, it is shiny and it is curly for sure. Um, but if you like a big curly, big hair look or you just like a lot of body in your hair, this will definitely be great for you. Let us let me try a piece that is already dry and try curling that piece. Yeah, it won't. I mean, for this hair, this is definitely like really thick, strong hair. Um, it doesn't seem to want to like wrap around because it's too like straw-like. Um, so it definitely needs to be wet. Uh, and I feel like when you use, when you put too much hair in it, like this is like too much hair to put in to it. Um, it doesn't really want to like grasp all of it. Let's try it again. See, it just wants to grab like one piece. I don't know why. Yeah, now let's see if it works wet. Nope. Nope. 
Okay, I'm a little disappointed. Look at it won't grasp onto the hair. It literally grabs the two pieces and starts raveling it. Oh my god. Just get on there. Nope, it doesn't want to do that hair. Look at it, it just wants to do like three pieces. So I was just reading up on this and you can actually use it as a wand. If you want to do like the beach waves, like I said, you can actually flip it upside down and go like this. So you guys, you can get that sort of beach wavy moment if you flip it upside down and use it kind of as a wand. It does give you a nice, like much flatter curl than using it the other way like this. All right, now that I have my Farrah Fawcett blowout going on, um, I think that I've, I've seen enough to come to a conclusion about this product. First off, I wanna say that I do enjoy the product. I enjoy the innovation within the hair industry. I think it's really cool. If I were a girl with medium to fine hair, not a ton, a ton of hair, um, hair that isn't super frizzy and curly and kinky, then yeah, this would honestly be really good to use. However, for everybody else, I'm not sure that that you're gonna find that this works for you. I'm not sure how user-friendly it is for somebody who deals with hair every single day of their lives and knows how to use every hair tool. It was definitely difficult for me to get the hang of it. I'm not sure I have the hang of it yet. <laughs> it's a cool invention. I just think that maybe it's not right for a lot of people. I really enjoy Dyson's products. I think this is a greatly manufactured, beautiful product. Um, that is worth the money if you have the right hair texture for it. But for me, I would not be using it on clients. Um, it's just not very time efficient and I could get the job done better with a regular conventional curling iron. However, you won't have as much heat damage as you would with a blow dryer and a curling iron. So do you want less heat damage, nicer hair, or do you want faster styling? That is all for my review today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Get this wig off my head. I'm sweating to death. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.